right. And we are live. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do this so a lot of you guys can actually see uh, kind of what I do for the crafting. So really quick, um, let me kind of take you on a tour of this little place. So this is uh, Ben's house. So she loves kind of carbuncle stuff. As you can kind of see, she's got the little tabber or standard or whatever there and lots of fun stuff. She's got this really cool fireplace, which is awesome. She's got a lot of cityscape and, you know, some pictures and she's got this all Christmassy. She loves to decorate for the holidays. Um, and then down here, she, you know, she's got her little material supplier. She's got her little cute Lala maid servant and that's her wedding cake. So for those that don't know, this is actually kind of what it looks like. So that way, uh, there you go. There's a good shot of it. So if you guys want to do the ceremony of eternal bonding and pay for it, there you go. And that's her bed. And then she's got the hot tub. Woo, hot tub. So, all right. Let's see. I think I got everything on me. All right. And I don't. Da, 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 da. All right. I get the big scary guy. And we need six adamant tight nuggets. Dun, 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 dun. Ouch, that's a shame. Just gotta go make some more of those. Eh, whatever. Alright. So, pretty much what this is going to do is I'm gonna show you guys how I do my rotation and how I do my specialty crafting. Blacksmith is probably one of the biggest pains in the asses in order to do the specialty crafting just because you have a choice of either using piece by piece or, um, uh, which is this, or innovation, which basically innovation gives you the 50% um, control increase for the next three steps. So um, you have to pick and choose on what you want. I'd rather the piece by piece because the piece by piece makes it much easier. So at any rate, this, guy, um, this is going to be a two star craft. So as you guys can see, it's a 1436 difficulty and the quality um, is 9430. Now, oops, don't need that. Um, most crafters will actually start out with the nine, um, 1915. I have a little bit of high quality purified coke, um, but typically this is what they'll start out with. Now, as you guys can see, um, my CP is at 462, so it's a lot higher than probably some of you guys uh, may end up uh, taking a look. And my time's right too, so it's not during the time to where the crafting's typically going to be all sorts of buggered. Um, so I actually open up, you need level 54 goldsmithing for Maker's Mark. With this, as you can see, I get 40 um, progress per flawless scent, and you can get up to, with my rotation, um, about 560, depending on kind of procs and things like that, uh, with it. So I always open up with flawless, or Maker's Mark, Whistle, and then I throw on Comfort Zone. It's a free 14 CP back because I'm going to be doing this for more than 10 steps. Um, and some people will actually choose to go ahead and try and get the extra 120 progress. But for me, I'd rather get the extra two, um, uh, the extra two comfort zones in because, ooh, and I get a good. So as you can see, I have a good here, and then it also changes color there. Um, I actually go ahead and absorb it for the extra 20 CP, and then I go ahead and I pop enter quiet. Now right now, as you see, my whistle stacks are at level at 10. Some crafters love whistle, some crafters hate it. It all depends on their preference. Yay! As you guys can see, stuff sells. Woohoo, I'm happy. Um, so I always start off by steady hand and waste not one. The steady hand too is just so I can go into a flaw, uh, hasty touch rotation, but I always go ahead and do um, the, uh, the piece by piece. And as you can see, piece by piece gets me 341 progress and then 229. It's 30% of whatever you have remaining. Now I'm at 970 out of 1436 with only 10 durability loss. Um, sometimes what I will do is I will actually uh, use careful synthesis at this step, but where I'm currently at now, it's not a denomination of three or a multiple of three, three, six, or nine, so I don't get any bonus to it. So. Right now, I'm going to go back into a uh, hasty touch rotation, which is steady hand two, which is culinary 37, and waste not one, which is leather working 15. Um, and then by doing this, you know you have to kind of keep an eye on your quality um, and if it's normal or if it's good, uh, because if it's good, it can actually change a lot of things. Right now, I need to make a decision. Um, 
on kind of what I want to do. I haven't gotten another good yet, which is which is bad, um, because it's going to put me into a really really bad spot um, trying to go ahead and high quality this ingot. Now right here, this is a good which is which is really awesome, um, and this is going to kind of it's going to kind of screw what I was ultimately going for, but at the same time, um, I'll get the quality uh, for it. Now as you can see, I'm at 970. I'll go ahead and I'll pop my careful synthesis and boom I'm at 169 and I end up getting another good which is great which brings me up to eight stacks of whistle and so I'll do Nimia's wheel and then all of a sudden I go back up to 30 durability now I'm about three hits out which is okay because I have enough CP in order to run what I need to run um, and still also run a waste not for four hits so right now I'm actually at a point of Great Strides, Steady Hand 1, and then Brigot's Blessing which is a level 50, um, it's a level 50 uh, Carpenter. So you really need that. Now that put me up at, you know, right around 91%. Unfortunately I can try and push it a little bit more if I really want to. Um, and you know, from here it's kind of a judgment call on what you want to do. Uh, let's see, eh, I have the CP left, why not? Uh -huh, yay, look, it's a good. Not going to use it. Can't use it. Doesn't matter. But as you can see, um, I went ahead and I did get the high quality on that. So one thing, to also, one thing to also consider as well is when you are crafting your surroundings and also the time. One thing about the time is at certain points, uh, I hate when this happens, you get an excellent and you can't use it. Um, at certain points in the day, it just literally becomes near impossible to high quality anything. You're better off just kind of quick synthing or making maps or whatever that you don't care if they normal quality or not. Um, and that's typically at from 11 p.m. to about 4 a.m. Um, Eorzea time. And I've actually tried this quite a bit under varying different circumstances. Uh, and it seems to be relatively consistent. Um, so, but when I'm actually in my Maker's Mark rotation, if I get a good, even if I get an excellent, I will actually go ahead and just absorb it for the additional CP, um, because it's highly, highly worthwhile. Um, right now I only have two hits left, so it doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to go ahead and do Comfort Zone, because it's not going to, well, it would have made a difference there, but, eh, whatever. So, as you guys can see, um, there's a lot of decision making. Now, some people will go, well, you now have nine stacks of whistle, you can use Satisfaction. I'll actually push it because I'm still at the very start of my rotation. I pretty much have maximum CP, and I would rather use the Satisfaction um, after my rotation and after the piece by piece. Because right now I'm at 934. If I do a careful synthesis, all of a sudden I jump up, and now I'm only three hits out. Because I'm normally only going to get 115 per, um, for uh, for my craft. So now I'll go ahead and I'll absorb it. As you can see, I still have two stacks of comfort zone. I'm just going to go ahead and kind of craft through those stacks. If it's one, I'll pop it again because I've already received the bonus. If it's two, you actually lose four CP on the rotation. Um, but it's a lot more to actually consider. Now, with a specialist, you can use what's called innovative touch, which is what I just did. It actually gives you innovation for the next three hits which increases your um, control, which ultimately increases the amount of quality that you get. As you can see, this now is starting to seriously take off because of the innovation. Now, right now I'm actually at 30. I'm actually at a pretty good place um, for where I'm at. Not really where I'm at, where I want to be at for my um, inner quiet stacks, but I'll deal with it. Um, it'll eventually get up there, or I'll just deal with the, uh, the low end uh, of it. So, innovative touch, and like I said, this is only really if you have CP to burn. Um, I started off with a really good craft, so I don't, I'm not really too worried about um, it, and I'm also working off of comfort zone, so it gives you a little bit more of a barrier, and this sucks. Um, this right here where you have the 8-8, eight, eight, um, if you're actually in your rotation, it can highly benefit you to the fact that um, you can actually uh, get both a progress and also a quality off of the same thing. So right now, unfortunately, I'm actually kind of at a disadvantage um, with where I want to be at. And I'm trying to get it to proc a good, and it didn't proc a good. So 
yeah, as you guys can see, that's gonna kind of hinder me right there. So we'll see where this craft ends up. Because I have enough in order to, if I get a good, in order to use like a standard touch. Because right here I'm only going to be one away. So I get it up to 76%. Um, like I said, blacksmith's probably one of the hardest ones because you don't have the innovative touch um, in order to go ahead and do that. And that's the maintenance notification. Hooray! So, um, and you, there's a lot that you can, there's a lot that you can really get around um, with crafting, even with some normal quality materials. Because the, in order to do the two star crafts, it's really, really hard um, to get it done because you only do start out with the 2000 quality. So, um, so uh, that's just a tell from uh, Flarewolf. So, da da da. So here's the um, Maker's Mark rotation again. Now, I'm actually getting kind of screwed because I still have 11 stacks of whistle and I don't have a good yet, which mm, it, a lot of times I'm actually used to. Um, typically, there we go, there's one good. Typically I'll come out at either 10 or I'll come out at 9. Sometimes I'll come out a little bit less at 8. So it doesn't, it doesn't really concern me for when, you know, stuff like that happens. Oop. Okay, that's awesome. Um... So right now, um, I actually absorb those. I know that there's peop there are other people that will actually just go, just they'll blow straight through it, um, and that can help, but it can also hinder at the same time, um, just because you do lose that 20 CP. And for me, it doesn't actually throw me off any. Um, what it does for me is it just goes, okay, whatever, I'll use a progress instead and I'll get myself one step closer. And it's and a lot of what this is is knowing your craft, knowing where you're literally going to sit. Because are you going to be sitting um, really good on your craft for you know when you absorb that or when you do that? Um, or are you going to be a little bit behind? Because if um, you're going to be a little bit behind, uh, it, it, it can put you behind the... Uh, uh, the eight ball. So I'm right now. I'm actually in a really good position, um, and I kind of want to show you one of the major benefits of the trained hand. It is an extremely CP intensive. So I mean, it is 32 CP. But now all of a sudden, I'm at eight slash eight. You know, eight whistle, eight inner quiet. But watch my progress. 139, bam! It goes up 140 and 835. So right now I'm actually prob uh, probably at a better situation than I've ever been on. Mm, sorry, on the last two crafts because I was able to go ahead and get that. And sometimes getting that to meet up doesn't go over very well. It can go over actually horribly, horribly wrong because you push it and you don't realize where you're at. And always being aware of how many stacks of whistle you're at, how many stacks of other stuff you're at. Um, you know, it, uh, I mean, it can really be a determining factor. Right now, I'm just actually going to go ahead and override that, uh, and not even absorb it, because I'm going to finish the craft at 100% quality. Um, there's not, um, and I don't even need to use the, uh, the waste knot, just because I know where my craft is, I know how much I gain per hit. Now, one of, so, and I'm actually making a lot of this for a free company member, um, so with this, as you guys can see, I'll actually start at almost 2,500 for um, for this craft. So I don't need the high quality aether sand and things like that. As long as I have other materials that are high quality, you can actually sub um, you can actually sub out quite a bit. Uh, so you don't have to really worry about it. So right now, as you guys can see, I am currently at 2,731 out of 90 um, out of 9430. So what ends up happening um, with this, one sec, I'm doing a recording for everybody. Um, so, what, so what ends up happening with a lot of this is that, um, <laughs> uh, what ends up happening with a lot of this is that with the crafting, it can be very, very intensive and very, very concentration driven. Um, because 
right now, the materials that I just made, that's about, on my server anyways, on the Marlboro server, you're looking at those ingots are about 2 million a pop, so that's 6 million, plus the, uh, and this is actually a little bit less because this is an offhand, so I'm playing with 6 million in materials. Um, if I blow it up, oh, dude, if I blow it up, it's not even funny. You sit there, you cry. So you go, there, there goes 6 million gil. What the hell? Oh my god. And, you know, you're just like, ah, so it sucks. But, um, a lot of times, as long, if you have the patience, and I'm going to get screwed on this craft, this craft isn't going well. Um, a lot of times, if you actually have the patience and you have the ability, uh, well, that's a saving grace. Um, you know, if you have the ability to take the time to gather your own materials, it doesn't hurt as much just because um, there's a lot more that you can do to regain what you lost. Now, a couple of you are probably going, well, why did you just, um, you know, why did you uh, do the quality increase instead of your, uh, instead of your other piece by piece? Um, I kind of messed up when I went into it, but I would rather go ahead and get the extra stack of the inner quiet than try and, you know, sort out the rest of that later on. And that's, you know, again, a lot of the crafting is a personal call on what you want to do. Um, some people would just blow straight through it. Some people would, you know, just do their set rotation. But, um, you know, a lot of, uh, you know, a, a lot of the crafting is you know, personal and choice and decision. One of the crafters um, in my free company refuses, absolutely freaking refuses to uh, use the specialist actions because the specialist actions, they can screw you. Um, and it can really, really suck because you're sitting there going, well, what the hell? Um, you know, I you know, I thought I was going to be A-OK -okay on this and, and you're not. You're not A-OK -okay on the synth. You're, you know, you end up losing quite a bit of what you originally thought you were going to have. Um, ooh. And this is going a little bit better than actually expected. So, but um, you know, again, a lot of a lot of the sensing, you know, comes down to personal choice and and what you want to do, uh, you know, with it. Because you know, there are going to be times to where you're just going to go, oh, I don't, I, I don't think I can do that, or the synth isn't going well, or you know, you don't you don't know if you're going to be able to actually succeed at what you're currently doing. One thing that I recommend when you first start out is, and I even still do it, is have a calculator by you because you can actually go ahead and calculate what it's going to cost um, CP-wise to get to your goal and for what your abilities are. Um, because if you can't get, um, if you can't get there, then you're, you know, if you're going to use all these abilities instead of sitting here going, oh, but I'm too CP short. You could have actually, you could have probably actually just prevented a lot of that if, you know, just with a calculator. Yes, I know it sounds totally stupid, and um, you know, it sounds stupid that you have to do, um, you have to do the CP or, or you know, and things like that. You know, I, I, you know, I get it. You don't want to sit there and you don't want to go, oh crap, you know, um, and you know, having a calculator, I should be able to do it in my head. Um, the less stress that you can actually take off of yourself um, while crafting, the better. Um, so, you know, it, it really helps, um, with it, so, I have people sending me crap. Yay! Oh, crap, he wants the pants. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, dun, dun, dun. uh, yeah. So, as you can see, I have lots of friends. They send me, like, they send me lots of stuff. Um, nah, give me a few, please. I'm recording. All right. So, he wants the pants. So I'm going to go ahead and do pants right now. Hide masters. Hide Master's Trousers! Now this is actually going to be something that's going to be a little bit better. Um, so as you guys can see, still I started at a relatively high CP. 
I always check my time to make sure kind of where I'm at, so I'm not going, so I'm not sitting here blowing through, um, you know, a lot of materials or things like that. Um, and if you actually, it's going to be one of these graphs. Um, if you actually follow a lot of the charts and stuff like that that people have, um, it can be daunting. Uh, I do craft with food. Um, you can actually, you can craft with. Um, you can actually go ahead and craft with uh, high quality seafood soup. It gives you a little bit more CP uh, or bolognese. Um, I might actually start switching to the bolognese just because I don't really need the additional um, crafting buff, uh, the the uh, the craftsmanship buff from the baked onion soup. But at the same time, I like it because it sometimes that extra one or two per hit um, that I get is totally worth it. Uh, and you know, again, everything is a total personal choice on your food. Um, one thing I highly recommend is, is if you guys are looking at melding or anything else like that, I recommend um, at least investing into your right side for the accessories and getting those melded. Um, those will actually help you the the most overall because uh, it'll give you the CP to run your rotations. If you don't have the CP to run your rotations, you're you're screwed. You can't do anything. Um, so I mean that's. I mean, so that's just a that's a couple of different items. Now with this, um, with the weaver, I have a little bit more room to play with because I do actually have innovation. So um, it it gives you a little bit more room to go ahead and play with uh, certain items on uh, you know on the table. Um, so like with my weaver, since I have innovation, I don't necessarily need as many stacks. Uh, in order to guarantee a high quality, but it always definitely helps to have the most possible. Um, right now, the way that this craft is looking, this craft is looking pretty bleak and pretty grim. Um, and it doesn't, and it looks like I'm going to have to probably use a different rotation. This is going to suck. And this is one good in 48 steps. So this is not going to go over well. All right. Oh, now I get it. Thanks. Like I said, this is where you have to make some really tough decisions on what you want to do. But I don't have a choice. I can't use innovation. Oh, this is going to suck. Please go high quality. Yes! 83% high quality! Because I got screwed and RNG freaking hated me that craft. Okay. So, yeah. It can be super stressful because that was a lot in mats. Um, especially for the trousers. That right there, well... The aether sand, the silks, and things like that, that was about a seven, eight million dollar craft that if that would have blown up, that would have totally sucked. So, um, <laughs> so at any rate, guys, that's actually kind of the high quality crafting. If you guys have questions, please don't hesitate to contact me in game. So I will talk with you all later, and it is time to log out. Maintenance, yay! Anyway, take care, guys.